remove pride from your marriage, from your relationship, you see that you don't have much differences. Even where you have these differences, they will not last long. You come to an understanding and an agreement and you move on. Absolutely. Today, we're so thrilled to have the video from Okia and Wadi, our friends, to share with our audience. We've known them for the past 20 years as neighbors, colleagues in the office. Your colleagues in the office, the two oh. of them, right? Oh, <laughs> yes. So it's our delight to be able to share the video from them with our audience today. And also very interesting to have had them interviewed by their daughter. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> yes, yeah. that was Gift. Mm -hmm. Gift was the one who did the interview on our behalf. So Gift, if you're watching this, thank you very much. You did a very good job. We love their marriage. Mm -hmm. We do. Their children. Yeah. What are the relationship we see? Between them and their children. I'm sure our audience will be blessed to have this interaction with Wadi and Oki. Yeah. Yeah, let's start off with some introductions. We want to know more about you. Um, you can start with your name and any other thing you'd like to add. Okay, a quick introduction. I'm uh, Oki Chukumagu, uh, married to my beautiful wife here, Wadi <laughs> Thor. By them, so we are called Mr. and Mrs. Swago. Uh, we've been married for, I would say, 26 years now, and uh, God has blessed us with four lovely children, uh, which are three are adults, and that's uh, who we are in a nutshell. And uh, of course, we we work, we are workers, both of us are workers, and then also we. Uh, function as pastors as well in the church. Yes, um, in addition to what my sweetheart has said, these 26 years have been awesome, honestly. As if we just got married yesterday. It has been 26 years of friendship, 26 years of joy, happiness. We are friends. I see him as my friend. Every morning I, I look up to seeing him. It has been so awesome to the glory of God. And in our marriage, we have made God the pillar of our home. So I believe that that is why everything is just moving smoothly to his glory. So we are so happy. 26 years, like I said, is just like one year. Evergreen. Honestly, I look at him. If I, when you look at him, he looks so young. <laughs> <laughs> and it gives me joy. Yeah. And um, we want our marriage to be an example to many homes out there. Thank you so much. All right. So let's jump into the questions. Uh, the next few questions I'm going to be asking include... Um, how you handle differences in marriage. My first question to you is, how do you maintain a sense of individuality while also fostering unity within your marriage, especially when differences arise? And one or both of you can say your comments. Yeah, I like um, that last part, especially when differences arise. And I would say, you see, I'm a man and she's a woman. So that's a <laughs> fundamental difference. So I allow her to do her uh, ladies things and women things and of course I have to do my manly and boy things as well you know so we allow each other's um, we allow each other the uh, space to to breathe remember what they say allow the blah 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 to breathe <laughs> so, <laughs> so I think we do that uh, otherwise over these years we've uh, learned to you know work together and uh, I would say there isn't so much differences uh, that would uh, raise any kind of conflict between us. I think we are good when it comes to differences. Thank you. You want to add anything, Sriya? <laughs> I think you said it all. <laughs> Another question for you. In your opinion, what are the key ingredients for successfully navigating and resolving differences within a marriage in the long term? Okay. So I'll start by saying that the first thing is to have God in your home. Is the first the main ingredient you need is knowing God and allowing God to take charge of your home once you have that foundation you are good to go then as um, a couple you have to have tolerance you have to is a very key ingredient when you have conflicts or any differences it's, it's something that you need to learn a conscious effort you need to make mm -hmm. you have to also learn how to communicate because if you don't if you don't communicate with your spouse you may be thinking another thing misunderstandings may be coming up 
But when you learn to communicate your the issues politely to your uh, to your to your partner, you you'll be good to go. You don't have much differences, and you all those issues will be easily resolved. Yeah. Remove pride from your marriage, from your relationship. You see that you don't have much differences. Even where you have these differences, they will not last long. You come to an understanding and an agreement, and you move on. Absolutely. All right. A third question. This is with regards to finances. What steps do you take to ensure that differences in financial management or spending habits do not lead to conflict within your marriage? Well, <laughs> this is uh, about finance. Uh, finance is a serious business, actually, even in marriage. So um, I think for us, what we've done is over the years to be clear about uh, how we manage our finances. Um, communication is key. Uh, agreement is key. So I know that for each couple, they have their different formula. But for us, we we work together as a couple, discuss our spendings, agree on uh, the things we need to, you know, put our money uh, to, or, or how we want how we want to spend our money. Basically, we agree together and then uh, we let it go. And during that. Um, that uh, period of uh, discussion, we also examine each item we want to spend on. Okay, um, sometimes uh, we might need to cut down on something. Sometimes we might need to increase on something. No hard and fast rule, yeah. anyway. But uh, all the same, uh, we try also to exercise uh, a good level of financial discipline, without which um, uh, we will not be successful as a family. If you have a, in a home, a couple is expected to have that level of trust where you do things together. There's no secrecy in our own for 26 years. I've been working. He has been working. His salary is not a secret to me. Mine is not secret. It's not a secret to him because we already agree. We know ourselves. We trust ourselves. The way it works for us here is that we have come to that level of trust where we do not hide anything from ourselves and we do things jointly. Here, we do not just secretly send out money. You know, we're talking about money finance to any relation. We always agree, have the same agreement. So any money that is leaving the home is being agreed by two of us. It was so great to hear your insights on how differences are handled within marriage. Be sure to join us in the next video where the Wagos share about the beauty of living with their four children. Three of them, young adults, still happily living at home. Sure. Thanks, Gift. Thanks for stopping by. And do come again and again. Like, share, subscribe, comment, ask questions. And we'll, we'll see, see you in our next video. video.